Hello and blessings my beautiful souls. My name is Avalon Cameron and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be unboxing the Witch's Roots box together. Let's jump straight in, shall we? So first of all, if you're not familiar with the Witch's Roots, then it is a witchy botanical or witchy utility box that has been created by the Witch's Moon Company. This is a great box for beginner witches who want to set up an apothecary or start to accumulate ingredients and items for their witchy practice. And it's also fantastic for anyone practicing witchcraft that wants to just experiment with other ingredients that may not be as easy to get your hands on, you know, depending on where you live. So I've received a bunch of exotic ingredients within these boxes and I'm so grateful to have had the opportunity to play with these otherwise foreign to me um, ingredients and they do have such an interesting energy as well so it's really great for that introductory you know process. So let's jump straight in. Ooh, I'll turn it around. As you can see, I haven't lit my altar candle specifically so I don't set anything on fire. All right, let's have a look. Always keep these really great for tying charms, bundles, twigs and sticks together, charms for hanging over the front door, etc, etc. Okay, Divine Feminine. Oh, it doesn't say when. Is there a date? This is my most recent uh, Witch's Roots box. So I'm hoping that I'm on time for this one. So this is the Divine Feminine. We have Meadowsweet as the primary ingredient. So each Witch's Roots focuses on a specific herb and you get a big quantity of that herb to play around with. And then it comes with other items. So in this one, we have the Meadowsweet. We have the Meadowsweet Herbal Grimoire artwork, which will no doubt be beautiful. The Goddess Altar Talisman, the Passion Ritual Incense Sticks, Queen of Peace Mini Spell Candle, Inner Goddess Ritual Body Oil, Rose Quartz Heart, Rose Quartz Book of Shadows artwork, and the Great Goddess Sigil. So let's jump straight in. First of all, we have the Sigil. So this is the beautiful Divine Feminine Goddess Sigil. Not sure which way is up, down, doesn't say. So I guess you could put it any which way you like. So really beautiful. And you typically don't see color on these. This is the first time I've actually seen color on one of these beautiful sigils. Then we have Rose Quartz. Book of Shadows artwork, which has been beautifully rendered with so much information. Really great addition for your Book of Shadows. Absolutely beautiful. And I happen to love the aesthetic of the Witch's Moon's artwork. All of their little Book of Shadows pages. I love them. I have them stuck up everywhere in my house. Then we have the Meadow Sweet Botanical Book of Shadows artwork, which gives you the magical attributes and information pertaining to the botanical of choice within the Witch's Roots. So every Witch's Roots box comes with one of these and obviously it will change depending on the botanical that has been chosen. So you have the magical beings, botanical allies, stones, color, celestial influences, elements, magical properties, and a little Theban down the side there and a bunch of information here that you can put into your Book of Shadows. All right, so we have a rose quartz heart, which would be really good for a heart chakra meditation. So placing this stone on your heart, breathing in, really allowing your body to expand fully, like feeling that inhale where your body totally expands and then holding that breath for a little while and then exhaling and doing that six times with that stone on your heart will help to really harmonize that heart chakra. Beautiful, beautiful. Then we have the, this is what they call a mini spell candle. But really what it is, it's half of a taper candle. So it's still the width of a full taper. It's just shorter, which means you go through it a little bit quicker, but it's great for, you know, for quick spells really, where you don't need an enormous candle to keep lighting re repetitiously. <laughs> So we have this beautiful lilac color and I love it. I love that color. Very, very beautiful. 
I've been live streaming all morning, so I'm almost without a voice at this moment in time. So it's been a great live stream with the coven, actually. <laughs> we had such a fun time talking about altar rituals and altar oils and oh my gosh, look at that. The witch's moon actually put out a pendant once. Pendant once. That's what I'm trying to say. And it was this very thing. I'm going to put you over there. That's really beautiful. Okay, this looks like the body oil. So sometimes they will provide you with a hydrosol, something like that, which is a spray. And that, that there is a delicious one. It's also from a witch's moon box. Oh, look at that. I have to sniff because look at how that is looking right now. It is so good. Oh yeah, I want that all over me. I want it all over my body. Yes, yes, yes. Don't mind if I do. And then we have Meadow Sweet. This is the botanical of choice. Now to give you some indication, in the Witch's Moon, you will get a selection of three, typically three botanical, um, you know, choices. And as you can see, this is a much bigger version, much more robust um, size. So this is good for practitioners uh, and for, you know, accumulating a good amount of knowledge and practical use with a botanical. And then we have the passion incense sticks I've been burning a lot of incense sticks recently which is you know unusual for me because I typically like to work a lot with hydrosols and I use a lot of natural botanicals in my practice but lately I have been burning a lot of this just to sort of counterbalance the smell of smoke that comes from the wood fire so we're in the height of winter here sorry I bumped the tripod and so it's really good to be able to take some of that smokiness out and using a fragrant smoke tends to help. It tends to help. So there we have it. That is the Witch's Roots box for I'm hoping the month of June or July. The date wasn't stamped on there so I don't know but like I said it was my most recent box acquisition therefore I think I'm on point and it's the right time and all of that kind of good fun stuff. So Yay, I'm really excited and I'm excited to work with Meadow Sweet because it is a botanical that I don't get a lot of opportunity to work with um, and it's only because I sometimes fall into these more comfortable ruts within my practice. Right now, you know, I'm loving chamomile, I'm, I'm loving the, the ability to work and access chamomile and I can grow chamomile down here so I'm looking to be able to grow a lot more of my, you know, witches botanicals and see how that goes um, because I'd like to be able to see what it feels like to nurture a plant from seed, a herb from seed, and then to plant it in accordance with the lunar phase and work with it in that way. But that of course requires a lot of planning. We're in the middle of winter right now, so I'll be looking to plant in spring, which is only a couple months away. So that's very exciting. Uh, all right, my beautiful souls. Well, thank you so much for tuning into this gorgeous Witch's Roots unboxing. What was your favorite? What was your favorite item in this box? I'm loving this one. I really want to pour this one all over myself. We will see how we go with that. Maybe after my shower, I can lather myself up and smell like a goddess. That's the, that's the goal. So there we have it, my beautiful souls. Thank you so much. I will chat to you again soon. If you've liked this one, give it a thumbs up. It really helps out my channel and sending you so much love, luck, peace, and joy. Mwah. Bye.